news. A Hollywood high school is shaken by yet another drug overdose. This time, the student is given a life-saving dose of Narcan and survives. It happened at Bernstein High School, the same school where a girl died of fentanyl last month. Let's get right out to KTLA's Rick Chambers, joining us live from the school in Hollywood with more. Rick. Yeah, Pedro, very little is being said about this latest emergency at Bernstein High. Fentanyl could be at play again, and it may be the first time that Narcan has been administered at an L.A. high school. Homecoming here at Bernstein High School tonight, not as festive as some might have liked, following the possible overdose of yet another student on campus. Police got the call this afternoon as school was letting out. Now, details about this student are not being released at this point, but we are told that Narcan, an overdose reversal drug just recently supplied to the LAUSD campuses, was used successfully, and the male student is hospitalized now in stable condition. There's been at least eight student overdoses, though, at LA schools in the past couple of months. I'm just so concerned, you know. Lisette Naya has a 14-year-old son playing in tonight's varsity football game against Mendez. I drop him off and, um, you know, a piece of my heart kind of breaks because it just doesn't feel safe, you know, with everything happening, especially so recent and so, you know, back to back. She's referring to an active shooter prank call earlier this week here at Bernstein. But remember, it was one month ago that two 15-year-old girls overdosed on fentanyl-laced Percocet at Bernstein. Melanie Ramos died in a school bathroom. It's unclear if fentanyl played a role today. I'm afraid for my son because of what's happening in the school. Gina Graciano also has a young son here at Bernstein High. And I feel so sad for the kids, for the parents. And I thought we were safe for the kids. And I guess we're not safe here anymore. Two teenage boys were arrested in September for selling the drugs to the overdose victims. Police aren't saying, though, if today's emergency is connected to those previous cases. But both the school police and the LAPD now working together to determine where today's drugs may have come from. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in the studio. Rick, thank you.